This video is going to show you how to add images in your HTML web page. I'm also going to show you how to align images using CSS. So you can see here I've got borders around my images. I've got a margin setting between the image and the text. And the image is either aligned to the right of the text or to the left of the text. OK, let's see how this can be done. So I've got two images that I want to show in my web page. One's in the root folder, the same folder as my index page. And the second image is within a subfolder called images. So let's first of all see how we can display this image, which is in the root folder, the same folder as my index page. So here's my HTML document, and I'm going to use the image tag, IMG. And the first attribute is the SRC attribute. And with that attribute, we define the image that we want to display on our web page. We put that in quotation marks. So the first image is called Alps, and it's a JPEG image. Now, if I close the image tag, and I'll save this document, I'll just minimize this window here. And then I'm going to reload this page. And you can see the image appears on my web page. Now, the SRC attribute is one attribute that you must include in the image tag. The other is the alt attribute. Now, in the alt attribute, you write a description of your image. Now, there's three reasons why we need that alt attribute. The first is if, for whatever reason, the image is not available, instead of showing the image, the alt attribute text will be shown. Let me just show you what I mean. If I change the name of this and save it and then reload, you can't find that image because there isn't an image in the folder called alps1.jpg. So instead, it shows the alt text. I'll just get rid of that misspelling. The other reason why alt text is important is if a visitor has a visual impairment, they may have software that will actually read out the text in the alt attribute. The third reason will help you with your search engine optimization when it comes to images, because the search engines will read that alt attribute and help your images to rank within the search engines. Now, it is good practice to specify the size of the image within your HTML document. If you don't know the size of your image, hover over it in the folder that you've saved it in, and it should give you the dimensions there in the screen tip. Otherwise, you could right click on it, and go to properties, go to details, and it should show you the dimensions there. So mine is 500 by 375. Now to enter the dimensions in your HTML document, you do this within the image tag. You write style equals, and then open speech marks. Then you can specify the width, colon, and that was 500 pixels. Then a semicolon, height, colon, 375 pixels. Put another semicolon at the end of that height attribute and then close the speech marks. Now, if I save that and then reload, it shouldn't make any difference to the image. It's just that you may get some flickering with your image on the web page if you don't specify the width and height attribute. Now, if we want to display this image, which is in this images subfolder, we would need to specify the path for the image in our SRC attribute. We can do that just by typing the name of the folder, then a forward slash, and then the name of the image. So if I save this, minimize this window, and then reload, it should reload that other image. Now, the only thing I need to do is find out what the dimensions for that image are. So again, I hover over the image, and it tells me it's 500 by 400. So I just need to change the height there to 
400. Save and reload the web page. So in this document, I have the same images, but I have text alongside the images. Now I want to be able to align these images to the right or to the left of these paragraphs. I also want to add borders to the images. And we're going to do both these things using CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to save this as styles in the same folder that my web page is in. You can see my web page here. And I'm just going to call this file styles. And I'm going to save it as a Cascading Style Sheet file. Now, before I write any CSS in this file, I do need to be able to reference this file within my HTML document. And I do that within the header of the HTML document. You can see I've done that here. This is the line of code. Link rel style sheet, href, that's the path of the style sheet, and then type text forward slash CSS. So as I said, that should be typed into the head section of your HTML document. So let's go back to that styles file. Now in this styles file, I've created two classes, one for images that I want to align to the right of text, and one for images that I want to align to the left of text. So you can see here I've used float to specify whether the image will be aligned to the right or here to the left of the text. Now the margin settings here, margin left and margin bottom, and down here margin right and margin bottom, specifies the space between the image and the text. And then I also have a border setting here, four pixels wide, and the color is solid gray. So how do I apply these classes to the relevant images? Well, I need to make sure that the CSS file is saved. I can see it is. Then I go back to my index file, my HTML file, and within the image tag, I can specify the relevant class. So for the first image, I say it's class equals, and in quotation marks, text left. So if I save this, and reload the web page, you can see now that the image has a border. I have that margin between the text and the border, and the image floats to the right of the text. Now for the Alps image, I need to specify the other class. So class equals txt right. If I save that, and reload. There we are. I have that margin space. The image has the border and the image is floating to the left of the text. Now, the only thing I don't like is the way this paragraph is wrapping around this image. And you can see that this paragraph also does the same thing. I would want this paragraph to come down below the image and the same here. Now we can do that by specifying another class. Now this is the class that I'm going to use to make this paragraph drop down below this floating image. And that's exactly what this clear property does. Now I put both because then the paragraph will clear either left or right floating images. So to use this class, first of all, I need to save this CSS file. Then I go back to the HTML page. And in the relevant paragraph tags, I specify the class I want to use, which I've called clear. And I'll do it to that paragraph and also to the last paragraph. So if I save this and then reload the web page, you can see both of those paragraphs drop down to clear the floating images. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that is useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.